Born in Mexico, we have student athletes JT Toppin, Nelly Jr. Joseph, Coach Richard Patino. Coach, let's start with you. Get your thoughts on tonight's game. Um, another great win. You know, I've, I've loved how we've turned into a terrific defensive team um, this tournament. It's gotten better and better every single game. Colorado State's a team that uh, doesn't turn the ball over a lot and shoots a high percentage. We were able to do both. Um, so an awesome win. Proud of our guys, and uh, we get a chance uh, to go against a great team tomorrow to play for a championship. Thank you, Coach. Let's go uh, questions for the student athletes first, right here. Brayden Nurse with the Mountain West. Coach just mentioned it, the defense, you forced 22 turnovers, or I guess 14 turnovers, scored 22 points off of them. Just what was the game plan, what was the mindset to kind of make them uncomfortable and force some turnovers? Um, the, the mindset was like, uh, um, yesterday we play, when we play against Boise, we like trying to be aggressive, stay in the lane, so we're trying to bring the same mindset to today's game. So that's what we did. And then obviously you guys are a team that feeds off of energy. What does an 11-0 start do for you? Uh, it did a lot. We knew it was going to have to come out, uh, come off the four minutes really strong, and we did just that, and we just knew it was going to have to execute on the offense and defensive end. Back here. JT, uh, Coach mentioned we've become a defensive team. What's changed? What's changed from the regular season? Uh, we just we wanted to get that tournament. It was really, really, really wanted to get that tournament, and we just knew we had to play together, and we couldn't let nobody get no easy dunks, easy layups. Had to stay in the lanes, help, and just scramble on defense. Uh, for both of you guys, you, t you both are two of the quietest guys on the court out there, and you got Jalen House doing what he's doing. I'm curious how a high-energy guy like that and the high energy that you already kind of asked about defense when you guys get out and running like that, everybody else on the court seems to be going crazy, and you guys are both two of the calmest guys out there. Are, are you guys feeling any emotion out there, out there when everyone else seems to be excited? Uh, we're, feed we're feeding up that energy, like, so, like, we pumped up like to play defense and get up and just like Jenny has all the time, like he's all trying to be like cool. Yeah, locked in. <laughs> but we definitely feed out their energy. They hype us up for sure. Yeah. So uh, Joe Scott, the Air Force coach, said of you, JT, the other day that he said you're mature and he, he kinda he did one of the one of these. He said you're 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 never high, you're never low. He can't ever <laughs> tell when you're excited yeah. or when you're not that you're just always kind of about business and always doing your job. Have you always been that way? Always, yeah, i always been like that. Just chill uh, and just really locked in. All right, and then the other thing, uh, Boise State last night, you guys hold to under 30% shooting, but it was two weeks ago when, when the word that kind of kept getting thrown around a little bit was they, they bullied you guys. The, they they out-rebounded you guys really badly in, in a couple games and, and they were just big and physical. Did you two take that personally a little bit, the way the Boise State game in the regular season played out? Yeah. Because once once you beat a team twice, like you will learn your lesson. I, I mean, you can't let it come come back and kick your ass the same way again. So you gotta like play aggressive, just yeah. like them. Can't lose can't lose three times. Yeah. You gotta stay aggressive, and I think we executed that very well. I think that worked okay. That one. Yeah, that one. I think that was okay. <laughs> I, I I think that was okay. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, um, nobody's ever won this tournament coming off of uh, the first round, and you've got an opportunity to do that tomorrow. And teams that have played three games in three days say it's the third day that they start to feel it. You're talking about the energy. Jalen talked yesterday. We just don't want to go home. Did you feel any fatigue today? Because it's a quick turnaround, obviously, tomorrow. But how, it, it, it did, you didn't look like a team that was playing a third game in three days. Did you guys feel any, any, any fatigue? Uh, not at all, because... Mm -hmm. During December, we came to Vegas. We played just like this. We played like three games, like back to back. So we used to it. Yeah, we don't feel no fatigue. We ain't trying to go home. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, Jack Thompson, Mountain West Connection. Uh, for both of you guys, you guys both are in your first year in Albuquerque. JT, you're a freshman coming in, and Nelly, you transferred in from Iona. In your first year here, what would it mean to you to deliver a championship to Albuquerque? <laughs> it would mean the most because our fans are our fans are really supportive and it would be it'd be amazing to bring it back for them. Yeah. I think you, it would mean more for the city because they love basketball, like they support us, so it would mean a lot for them. So we are excited for tomorrow. It looks like you guys are just playing with a lot of confidence right now. Can you speak to 
the, the momentum that you guys are just playing with right now, that you have the confidence that you guys are playing with right now, man? Uh, we just we just come really locked in. Like in practice, we're locked in. We no days off. No, it's not over. So like we we're gonna celebrate, but like we gonna next day we're locked in for the next game, and that really has just helped us. And then yeah, can you just talk about this next matchup? Obviously, a San Diego State team that's very tough. Um, a lot of history with these two teams. How are you feeling about this matchup? Uh, really good. We just got to play aggressive. They're a little bigger than us, but as we play aggressive, we're going to win. I mean, we played them before. We played them at home. Like, we win by like 20 or something. So, yeah. I think we're going to be ready. So, we just got to play hard and play together as a team and get some stops. Mm -hmm. Anything else for our student athletes? Okay, we'll dismiss them at this time. Thank you, man. Questions for the coach? Yeah, coach, they cut it to seven with about five minutes to go. What's the message in that timeout? Um, we, were get, we, we were turning the ball over a little bit, I thought. Um, we got Jalen with the ball. He was, um, you know, Donovan was battling uh, the flu. Uh, I think he may have gotten what MASH has. So he showed unbelievable heart uh, because he was really struggling, really struggling. And so hopefully we can um, get him some IVs and, and get him better for tomorrow. Um, but we put the ball in House's hands, and he delivered, you know, and we were able to get some rebounds, key rebounds. They were shooting a lot of threes, and we had to get some long rebounds. Did, it, did a great job there. We're here. So I'm curious if you think now you guys are a lock for the uh, NCAA tournament? I don't, you know, I, it, it's just I don't understand how we wouldn't be. I, I, I just don't get it. Um, I think Joe Lenardi is like in his jammies right now. I don't think he's awake watching Mountain West basketball. So I don't know if he's paying attention, but we're like 22 or 23 in the net. We're 27 in Ken Palm. We've got 25 wins. It just it boggles my mind. We've beaten several teams who are NCAA tournament teams, but um, you can't worry about it. You know, I mean, there's a lot of um, – yeah, who know? You just don't know, right? And uh, the biggest thing we're trying to do is control what we could control. But as I said last night, I would be very surprised if we didn't make it. Obviously, we just got another quad one win. I'd be even more surprised. I asked them about the defense, and, and Nelly gave his nice answer about not wanting to uh, – he, he learned his lesson from the Boise State games. I'm curious if you look to a point of the season or maybe even in the last few weeks when the defense did sort of – kind of start playing with a little bit different effort or urgency maybe? I think the Air Force game was an eye-opener for everybody. Uh, I, that was a devastating loss. It was disappointing. Um, you know, we had to do some soul searching as a coaching staff, players. We were not ready to go. And um, I think our guys came back, dug themselves out of a big hole that we created. and. Um, you know, credit to them. I mean, I think they understand, like, if you don't defend, if you don't rebound, you're not going to win in this league. This league is too good. And there's a lot of really good defensive teams. So uh, I think it was a humbling moment. And uh, credit to our guys to kind of pull themselves out of it. Coach, the, the one aspect of your team that maybe more than anything has been on full display this tournament is just how much speed the entire lineup has and how hard it is to defend. Uh, Game plan wise, is there anything that you tell guys like Jalen and Donovan and Jamal to do, or do you just let them run wild and create havoc? Run wild is probably, I'm not sure that's what we do, but I do think you got to let them play. You know, I mean, it, um, they're all can play the point, you know, so you essentially have three kind of scoring point guards on the court at all times. So I think the personnel allows them to be able to get out and run. I still think we can actually play faster. Um, you know, but all of them can make plays. Um, Jalen was ready to go today. Donovan th fought through, obviously, a uh, pretty rough illness. Um, but, yeah, I mean, our whole goal, and you can't run if you don't get stops. And the defense the last, and even Air Force, the last three games has been terrific. That's allowed us to run. We're here. Coach, you know what it takes to beat a San Diego State team, but tomorrow's a different animal, right? It's the championship game. So what are some of your concerns and what are your keys? What do you guys need to do to win tomorrow? Well, I mean, obviously got a high, high level of respect um, for their program. 
the level of consistency that they've built over 30 years. Um, obviously, from Coach Fisher to Coach Dutch and the staff, they just do a great job of being true to what they are. So it's uh, we've talked about toughness. Boise was certainly that. Colorado State, it's going to be ramped up even more. Um, but you know, you, you're playing on Saturday uh, for a championship, so I think both teams are going to compete their butts off. I know both fan bases. I mean, I was told today. Every flight coming from Albuquerque to here was sold out on Southwest. I mean, that's how special our fan base is. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. Richard, you came into town. Your team knew they had to win some games. They played with incredible poise, composure, with their backs against the wall. And I know somebody told me there's a rule or something, like if you keep winning, they can't keep you out of the big tournament. So you've got an opportunity tomorrow. What have you learned about your team in the last three days? They've been ready for the moment. You know, I mean, it, there's a lot of pressure that goes on you to play in a winner go home tournament, um, to obviously be on the bubble. You know, it's, it's a privilege though, it really is. I mean, there's a lot of teams that are not even thinking about that. And, uh, you know, we're proud of where we're at. And they've delivered, they really have. And I mean, they've played great basketball. Uh, they've let their, their play do the talking and they just have stacked up two really, really quality quad one wins on back-to-back -back days. And obviously got a great opportunity tomorrow. Let's go last question over here, Jeff. Um, have you ever coached a team that's had to play four games? I think this is going to be in less than 70 hours. And, and where does it affect the team most? What, what are the, your concerns about just legs or fatigue or mentally? What, what is it? Well, in my illustrious Hall of Fame career. I've not been to many championship conference games. I believe this is one. No, FIU, year one. Uh, I think we had a bye, though. Uh, so uh, I don't think I've ever had four games in four days. Fatigue is the biggest thing. Now, I think Air Force, we were able to play a lot of guys. Um, even the last two games, we were kind of able to get guys in and out. Uh, we got, there's no time to be tired. There's no time to be tired, and uh, you just mentally and physically got to fight through it. We're fortunate to have amazing fans who uh, certainly create an environment where uh, that can get us going as well. So we just got to get some rest. I mean, obviously the hard part, what I don't love, I'm not going to complain about the Mountain West, but playing a late game and then you got to come back. I know that's kind of standard because of TV. Um, if I win, I'll get it changed, you know, because I'll have some power. Uh, but that's obviously going to be hard. That's, that'll be hard for San Diego State, too. So uh, we got to get some rest um, and mentally and physically just fight through it. Thank you for your time, Coach. All right, thank you.